Hi, welcome back. I'm Chuck. Today we're going to do some landscaping and make a dry riverbed. We have this grouping of elm trees on the side of our house, which causes a bunch of shade underneath. Part of the problem is we have Bermuda grass native in Oklahoma here that doesn't really grow well in the shade. This is the natural drainage that goes from the street back to the creek in the back of our yard. So it's starting to erode the ground a little bit. So I'm gonna put a dry riverbed in here and do some landscaping. Basically what's gonna happen is it won't erode away the dirt anymore, hopefully. That's the idea and um, it'll look a little bit nicer. The first thing I'm gonna do is uh, clean it up a little bit, cut down some of the low hanging branches and put down some landscape fabric. I went ahead and uh, trimmed the grass that was growing in here and cut down the low hanging branches. Now I'm just gonna take the shovel and just make a more defined edge for the creek bed that I'm gonna make and uh, lay down the landscape fabric. I have cleaned out the riverbed and made it somewhat level. Now I'm gonna put down some landscape fabric. To hold this in place, I have these landscape pens, which are just like, they just go right through the fabric and hold it in the ground. That way the wind doesn't pull them up when you're trying to put down dirt or mulch or rocks in this case. And it helps keep it from uh, getting washed away as well. We have the riverbed lined with the landscape fabric and I put some larger rocks here at the beginning so it doesn't kind of wash away the uh, smaller river rocks. And we're also going to place big rocks throughout the riverbed to keep it from doing that as well. So next step is to go ahead and grab the bags of river rocks and dump them in here. We have the bags of river pebbles in place. I'm going to cut them open and dump them out and see how far this lasts. I got this composite edging and uh, what I'm gonna do with it is line the side of the creek bed so that the mulch that we're gonna put in later doesn't wash into the creek bed and also around the mulch on the far side so that it gives a defined edge to where the grass can grow and where the mulch is. Instead of digging out a trench for this, I'm just gonna pound it into the ground. It seems to be working and uh, it's a lot cleaner. Easier that way. You'll notice I don't have this landscape fabric completely overlapped in every area. That's because I'm not as concerned about all the weeds growing up through there. I know that some of it's going to get through anyway and I am going to plant some plants in here. If you are completely concerned about that, you should overlap it quite a bit so that nothing grows up in between them. We have the edging in place. It uh, actually was a little bit shorter than I'd wanted it to be, so we cut out one of the trees at the end. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to deal with that but uh, I didn't want to have to get another 20 foot roll to get another three feet. 
So we have what we have, and I'm going to uh, plant some ground cover plants in here, put some stepping stones in here, and then put the mulch down. We still have to backfill the end with rocks, and we'll go get those, and then we'll be all done. Finally all finished after we added more rocks and some mulch and uh, this is how it turned out. Excuse the annoying children. Um, but it makes it to where it's uh, not just dirt that is eroding away in here and hopefully the uh, rocks don't wash out when we get a monsoon uh, here in Oklahoma. Thanks for watching and go ahead and hit subscribe over here. Give me a thumbs up and there's another video for you to watch over here. Don't forget, forget to, to hit, hit the, the subscribe, subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you can be alerted. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so my dad, uh, 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 so you 